Hello everybody. Um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, doing the energy balance calculations um, for non-reactive systems. So in the previous uh, two videos, we um, uh, we saw how we can do the uh, energy balance calculations for uh, single stream, like to calculate the um, enthalpy, and we saw how you can get the CP values from the tables um, and to use them to calculate the enthalpy. Um, at uh, different temperature um, so today we are gonna do the same thing but for a system so you have streams uh, going into a unit and then coming out of the unit and you know you need to do the energy balance calculations for this unit uh, but in this case we don't have any reaction so it's non-reactive system so actually it's um, it's pretty simple we are gonna do the same thing you have this equation of the uh, summation of enthalpy of the outlet minus the inlet is the heat that you put into the system and um, actually the uh, most uh, tedious uh, step of these calculations is to calculate the enthalpy of the stream which actually we did last time um, and once um, uh, you do the, in the enthalpy calculations of each stream then you are good to go you can do all the calculations that you need to do uh, based on the uh, temperatures or the enthalpies that you calculated from these uh, uh, calculations so actually um, once you write the final equation you have to uh, know the enthalpy of the inlet stream or have uh, like a, th a way to calculate them and uh, the outlet streams and the heat uh, flow uh, that you have in or out of the system and actually once you have them you just uh, substitute in the equation and get the unknown value that you need to do and actually excel is going to help you a lot to, uh, in doing this especially if you want to calculate the temperature it's uh, what we're going to see in a uh, few minutes um, so we'll have this example that um, uh, yeah this is what we said and uh, in this example we're going to do um, uh, enthalpy calculations for a system it's an air heater where you have this stream it's uh, oxygen it's just air so it's oxygen nitrogen I know it's, the air is almost 79% nitrogen and 21% uh, hydrogen so you have uh, 1000 uh, gram mole per second which is 790 nitrogen and 210 uh, hydrogen uh, oxygen I'm sorry it's oxygen not hydrogen um, and um, you don't know the temperature of the feed but you know that you need you have uh, some heat that you have which is 1.8 times 10 per 6 joule per second and that you need to heat the uh, air to reach a temperature of 100 celsius um, so it's uh, it's um, just something that you don't know what's the temperature um, of the feed that can be heated by this Q and then reaches 100 celsius so um, we will assume it's an ideal mixture so we don't have any heat of mixing or anything so you can uh, uh, some um, uh, like um, do the summation of the enthalpies safely without any problems so let's go to the excel sheet and see <coughs> what we have so actually I just put the everything in the excel sheet just to be easier for us to um, see what we have um, and this is the way I like to organize or arrange my sheet uh, if you have another way that makes you more comfortable it's it's totally fine um, and actually uh, I put everything here the uh, <coughs> the constants I'm, I'm not gonna spend long time um, getting the constants from the tables because we did it last time so um, just to save some time you can double check them when you do this by yourself um, so you have oxygen and nitrogen and we are gonna get these from Colson because you know last time we said um, Colson uh, has the uh, uh, right uh, values for the uh, equation uh, for gases so in this uh, uh, columns we are gonna calculate the enthalpy of the feed and here we're gonna cal calculate the enthalpy of the product and then we have the Q so I, I like to put it this way just to see everything and uh, to be able to know if there is any problem to uh, point it out um and um first uh, let's put the uh, the um, uh, givens that we have so we know that it's 1.8 times 10 per 6 this is the uh, heat that we have and we know that the flow rates is 210 for oxygen and 790 for nitrogen it's the same for the product because we didn't have any reaction so nothing changed in the flow rate and that we um, know that the temperature of the feed is uh, uh, the product is 100 Celsius and the reference temperature of course is 25 um, and we know that we do the calculations uh, using the Kelvin values but I like to put them both just to fill the numbers so I'll just uh, add 273 to this and the same here um, 
and let's do the same here and this is 25 so uh, oops this is 25 and this is the uh, cell that we don't know uh, and this is the thing that we need to calculate so I let it to be uh, uh, at the end and then let's see what we can do so I can calculate the enthalpy of the product easily I have the temperatures I have the constants so I can do everything right now so the enthalpy as we said uh, and this is the longest step as I said last time um, so I said it's gonna be a multiplied by uh, T uh, I'm sorry T minus T reference right and then plus B over 2 multiplied by the same thing T minus T reference plus C uh, oops I'm sorry this is T power 2 minus T reference power 2 plus C over 3 multiplied by T power 3 minus T reference power 3 um, and then plus d over 4 multiplied by d uh, power 4 minus t reference power 4 so everything is now done I have uh, all the um, uh, things here but we said last time it's easier for us to freeze the temperature so that if we need to drag this um, equation um, to calculate the enthalpy of the other components it's gonna be fine so this is what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna press F4 for uh, each one of these uh, cells so now we freeze all the temperatures all the temperatures are freeze okay so we're good to go uh, there's something wrong let's see what's the problem uh, uh, so it's the um, The problem it is uh, 10 minus 11 I So this is the problem that this is power three. I just put something else, so it, it cannot do this uh, calculations. If this is J four, I don't know what's J four. J four, it's yeah, it's a very big number. It's something power two hundred ninety eight. So it's it didn't understand what to do actually. So now it's it's fine, and now we can do this calculations for um, nitrogen. Everything is fine. The temperatures are freezing in their places. Okay, so this is the total enthalpy. Now it's gonna be this multiplied by this. Um, because we, we cannot um, uh, add the specific enthalpies and then this is gonna be the total enthalpy of the stream and this is gonna be joule per second um, okay so I have almost everything now I have this um, stream uh, enthalpy of the stream I have the enthalpy of the uh, a product uh, I mean the the heat that I need to put to the system but I still don't know how to do this and actually in order to solve this uh, I have to do uh, some iterative solution because I have the temperature in um, like eight uh, terms four here and four here and then to the power one two three and four so it's gonna be difficult to do this uh, manually or to calculate the temperature so the only way to do this is to do iteration so I will assume any value of the temperature and then I'll do um, the iterations as we saw last time by gold seek or by solver or whatever and then uh, ask Excel to change the temperature so that the uh, equation is uh, solved so I will put any value let's say I'll put 50 60 any value uh, and of course it's better to assume a value that's uh, kind of realistic so it doesn't make sense to put a temperature higher than 100 because you're heating the, the, the air so this should definitely be less than 100 um, and then I'll do calculations based on this temperature and assume it's right and then see if it's the right value then I'll have the uh, equation satisfied if not then I'll do the iteration so I'll do the same thing um, 
so uh, one th one cool thing about Excel that if you uh, drag this uh, equation from here to here you will find these are calculated based on these two temperatures and, uh, and instead of writing the equation one more time it's easier to move these temperatures from here to here and the equation if you notice the equation it's gonna be changing uh, automatically so instead of doing the same equation again you can simply uh, remove the frames from one of cells to the other just to uh, make it simpler for us so, so I did the same thing but instead of spending long time writing the equation I did it uh, uh, manually or I mean by, by just uh, dragging these uh, cells to the right temperature and if you do it here then it's okay and then I will um, take these it's the same calculations it's multiplying the specific enthalpy by the flow rate and then this is gonna be the sum of both and the unit is joule per second um, so I have everything this is let's just put a note here that this is uh, assumed so that you know that it is not the right value and once we do the iterations uh, and get the equation satisfied then uh, it's not gonna be assumed anymore so what's the equation that we need to satisfy actually it's the summation of enthalpy of the product minus the enthalpy of the of the feed is Q or that the difference between the or um, uh, the difference between the product minus input minus Q is gonna be zero so let's see what we have so I have this minus this minus this and of course it's not zero it means that there's something wrong with the assumed value so what we're gonna do now is go to data and then uh, goal seek is gonna be fine um, and then I'll ask you uh, ask goal seek to set this value to zero by changing the temperature and press ok and here we go so it solved the equation actually you have the temperature is not assumed anymore so I delete this comment it's not assumed anymore it's 38.56 and um, it's solved so you have the problem solved uh, pretty easily uh, without assuming uh, or without spending any time if you're gonna do this calculations manually it's gonna be very tedious you're gonna assume a value and then calculate t for one two three four and then do the calculation see if it's right wrong and it's gonna take forever um so uh, let's see the if you wanna solve the equation uh, or so solve another problem so let's say you have um uh, the temperature of the feed you know it is let's say 35 or um, maybe 45 and then you need to see what's the temperature uh, or the, the the heat that you need to put it to the system so that it is uh, satisfied or I mean so that the product is 100 Celsius so it's like solving the the same problem but with different given and different required so you, you have two ways of solving this actually one way is to do is the same way and use what if and also because you have already the sheet built so you can use it to do anything so I assume uh, I had asked the, uh, the goal seek to put this uh, cell to zero by changing the Q and then here you go it's solved and the other way that you have already a simple equation you don't need to do iterations actually to solve it because the Q is the difference between these two cells so if you put uh, or we calculate the enthalpy of the product minus the enthalpy of the reactant it's gonna be um, it's gonna be the same so um, there are two ways of solving this uh, problem if you need to do the Q because it's straightforward but if you need to calculate the temperature then the only way to do it is by doing iterations um, so next time we're gonna see how to solve the reactive system it's gonna be more difficult uh, and uh, uh, hopefully it's gonna be easier uh, when we do it next time and I'll see you then